Hi everyone, so today we're going to be making a pull-out fancy fold card. This was the first one I made, um, it's a 5x7 card. And then you open it up, you obviously get your aperture, open it up, and then that bit just pulls out. Okay, it's quite a nice, simple card to do. Um, it really suits like male, all cards, but particularly male cards, because it's sort of got a bit of kinetic movement to it, but it's nice and simple to do. If you've got a two-part um, stamp set, this is perfect, because I've got like have a whale of a birth of a time there, and then on your birthday on the inside. Okay, so that's one of the ones I've made. And then this was the other one I made um, using paper boutique papers. And again, just got that inside pull out bit. Okay, so super easy to make. So you will need a five by seven card blank, which is this, so a blank card that is five by seven, or if you don't have a five by seven card blank, you need a piece of card that is five inches, sorry, seven inches by 10 inches. Okay, you also need a matte piece, which is four and three quarters by um, six and three quarters, and a pattern piece, which is four and a half by six and a half. Okay, we're going to stick that down in a minute. In fact, we'll do that now. <clears throat> so you're going to stick your um, pattern onto your mat. Make sure when you're sticking it down that you stick all over. Because I've wet glued that, I'm going to put that aside to dry. And then in a minute, we're going to die cut the aperture out of the front of that. So let's put those two to one side. You also need a piece of card that is nine and a quarter by six and three quarters, okay? And we're going to go ahead and score this now. So you're going to score this card at four and three quarters and at seven. Okay, and that's all you need to do. And then you're just going to fold it in half and then fold the front back. Now you will notice that there's a bit, it's a bit shy, but that's fine. So you fold your front back. Oh, I've got a bit of tearing there. Scored on the wrong side, but anyway. And so normally you'd obviously sort of have it like that, wouldn't you, as a card? But we're going to turn it round and it's going to be like that. And in a minute, not yet, but we're going to fix, we're going to um, stick that inside our card blank in a minute. But if you put that to one side for now, now hopefully this has dried. So now what we're going to do is we're going to die cut our aperture. So you will need um, uh, a circular die. This one is three inches wide. So anything that's about three inches, three and a quarter inches is fine. Because in a minute we're going to cut out um, the center. You don't want to go too small and you don't want to go too big. So three inches about is about right. You also need some kind of topper. Um, and again, this is slightly larger than three inches. If I put that on the top, you can see it's slightly, it's slightly larger than three inches, which is fine because it's going to go behind the aperture. So that's fine. It doesn't need to fit exactly. Um, and then I also made a wider frilly bit as well because I quite like the idea of sticking that onto there. So when you open it up, you get that added ooh, extra things. Um, and you also, you don't need this, but it's an optional extra. Um, I used a frame as well, which is basically the inside is that aperture size. And then I just chose the next size up, the next um, circular die up to cut that out, which is what I did on this one. So this pink frame is that pink bit. OK, so that's what we've got for that. So now what we want to do is bring our die cutting machine in and we're going to position our die on the front of the card uh, like that. And then we're going to just tape it, washi tape it into place. And I'm washi taping it on the inside just in case the washi tape tears the outside of my card. So we're going to bring in the die cutting machine and we're going to die cut that window out. There we are. So just make sure when you're choosing your papers, you don't choose really thick papers. This pink pattern paper was about a 200 GSM. And this is quite soft because it's kind of a weird felty, um, glittery paper, but it's quite thin. It's not that thick, really. So I've managed to die cut those two layers without any problems. Um, don't, as I say, don't go too thick. So then what you want to do is take your card blank, make sure obviously it opens the right way up, and place your panel on the front of your card. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take, a, um, take, your, take your die, 
and position your die back inside so it fits inside the grooves. And then if you then draw around the inside of the die, like that, okay, and then we can take that out, remove that, and then replace your die and marry it up with your pencil lines. Now the reason why I do it that way and I don't just draw around the aperture of the card is because my die has a slight lip on it and so if I was just to draw around that aperture I then won't be able to see that to get it lined up with my die so I always put my die back in and do it that way. So then we're going to die cut this card but we're going to make sure that we open it up. So you open up your card like that and then we're going to die cut it. Now it's not going to fit through this little one so I'm going to do it in my Gemini. So if you're doing this on a small A5 machine like I was then you need to you will need to turn your card now you will make a bit of an indent but you will need to run it through your machine like that okay if you run it through like that it'll only cut that side but obviously you will have a bit of an indent here um, you might be able to put maybe a bit of a shim inside just to protect this. Um, but yeah, so be, ideally you need an A4 machine for this. Right, so I've cut my circle out. So I'm just going to take the washi tape off carefully. And then take out my circle. And obviously where your pencil line is, you could just rub that out and then you've got a circle you could use on something else. Put my die to one side. So now what I'm going to do is take that pattern paper that we just did just now and I'm going to put it back on the top and position it and it should perfectly marry up with the aperture and you've got a nice border. So we're going to stick this down now. Okay, so there we have it stuck on the front of the card. Okay, so now what you want to do is take your insert that you folded and you're going to turn it over and you're just going to glue the back here and that's going to stick on here like that and that bit's going to pull out. Okay. Okay, so we've stuck up the inside piece in now and so now all we need to do is stick our sentiment on the front and stick the um, frame on if you've got a frame now with this one I've noticed that my halfway point isn't halfway so my fold doesn't come halfway down the aperture it's slightly over which is fine I mean on my other ones it did come halfway but it's fine because you're going to have a topper on there anyway so it's not really a problem so um, I'm now going to go ahead and stick my topper down to there and then I'm going to stick the whole thing onto the front of here but you just need to be careful once you've got your topper ready to go just kind of eye it and see in fact let me stick this down then I'll, I'll, I'll come back and do that okay so I've stuck my topper down to my little frilly bit so now what I'm going to do I'm just going to open this up and position it where I think it's going to need to be okay and then I'm going to close this up and I've, re I've put it too far over so with it half open and half shut I'm just going to position this so that it's about where it needs to be which I think is about um, about there-ish yeah about there perfect so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my finger on here open up the front cover like that and then I'm just going to flip this over in fact no I'm not what I'm going to do you can flip it over and draw halfway on the back of the topper but what I did last time was I just lifted up the edge of this and just drew little marks around the outside so you can see now because I've got a, fr a frilly edge it makes it a little bit more tricky but we can still do it There we go, like that. And I am just going to quickly flip it over. And I'm just going to make a little mark down the middle there. Then I know roughly where 
Right. <coughs> so I'm now going to put some glue on here to stick it down. So I've made my little pencil mark so I know where it should come to. that and then we're just going to position this on because it's wet glue I have got a time bit of time to wiggle room it so that's good so I'm going to put that on like that flip it over and just make sure it's definitely straight there we go that's where we wanted it Okay, so there we go, that's in. Now, as you can see, you could leave it like that, but I just think this cut edge needs a bit of something. So I am just gonna stick this green frame around the outside, because I just think it makes it pop. Okay, so there's our card finished. And just to finish it off completely, I'm just going to add some glossy accent drops just to the front, just to give it a bit of, um, just a bit of interest. Okay, so there's my finished card. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll have a go with this. As I said, it's super easy to do. Um, I just think it's a nice shape of card. And as I say, quite easy to do. So, yeah, please um, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you've subscribed. And then you'll never miss a video. And I always upload every Friday at mid midday. So um, come and join me again another time. And hopefully see you soon. Bye.